Once a year, my friends over at Art of Play package together brand new, never before seen decks of cards. Some of these cards are extremely rare and can only be purchased via these mystery decks. Well, today we've got 25 mystery decks. I have no idea what's in these. They have an idea what's in these because they've sent me 25 unique mystery decks. And we're gonna take a look at all 25 of them. I left the link below if you guys wanna check out their shop. For the algorithm gods, I would really appreciate it if you just hit the like subscribed and maybe dropped a comment below it does go a long way I promise you without any further ado let's start unboxing these I'll be checking prices of these as well as we open them all right let's go there's a little sticker included oh they include a little stickers look at that I believe we had this one from last year oh man how cool is this like a little snakes and ladders game their packaging is like second to none. It's just always the best. Uh, we did unbox this one last year, so I do have this one. So we'll leave that one wrapped. If you wanna check out what these decks look like, go ahead and check out last year's video. I will leave this one aside for now. I wanna see some decks I haven't seen before. I want you guys to see some decks you haven't seen before. Ooh, what are these? Another little sticker. These stickers are cool. That's something new they added. They didn't have uh, stickers before. They weren't giving them out like this. Okay, so this is really pretty. These are slightly embossed. It says here, just type playing cards. I guess they're like a font type pentagram, designed by pentagram, an art of play. All right, let's open these up. Oh, that is the back design. I like that very much. So tuck case, it says edition two here, nothing much going on on the inside. And here are the cards. We got the jokers, the ace, and all the cards, look at that. Very cool artwork on the cards. And over here we have the ad card by Paul Scher, Jeff Close, Kristen Huber, and need to play, need to replace a lost card, circle, a rank suit, and ante up. I like that very much. So if you're playing cards casually, this is a great way to, uh, to make sure you have all the cards in the deck. You just got this extra card here. I like that a lot. Nice touch. All right, let's check out the back design here. Look at that. Very nice fan. Obviously a one-way asymmetrical design. Uh, because if I were to do this here, you would you would notice the change, but it's not so bad. I mean, it's still cool. They handle very well. Very nice deck of cards. Fun for game night. I like these a lot. What do these go for? Pentagram, $18. Down from 36 on sale right now, $18. Okay, all right, next up. Ooh, the Stranger deck. This has been one of my favorite decks consistently year after year. One of the craziest looking decks in here. I'm, I'm gonna open it just because I want you guys to see. I do have a few of these, but this one definitely deserves a little bit of a spotlight. Uh, got a great little stamp seal on there. And if we had a, let's get a little box cutter here. There we go. Open up these bad boys. I do have an uncut sheet of these. The ultimate Stranger deck, but check that out. How colorful and cool is that? Just full of curiosities and no matter which card you cut to, you're gonna get something cool looking like that. Or that. Just such a stylish deck of cards. If you're, I love this one, one of my favorites. I've taken a lot of pictures with this card particularly. Just really, really cool showcases tons of different art styles. A lot of which could be made into tattoos, I would say but very, very cool. Look at that. Love these, the Stranger deck. Very, very sick. Three down. Makers deck, we have these already. We're getting unique stickers every time though. We do have these, these are the makers. Oh wait, let's see what the Strangers go for. Those go for $25 and the makers, the makers private reserve with this dope looking seal are $52. This is a $52 deck. Now mystery decks are $12. So for $12, you have a chance to get a $52 deck. And so far every deck that we've got here is worth more than $12. So always a great deal. We have not seen these before. Eames playing card, have I seen these? Practical durable playing cards. 
Starburst Edition 1. I love that. I love the inclusion of the small edition there. Beautiful seal as well. Let's open them up, see what they look like. A design inspired deck, no doubt. And it does have a perforated seal. So usually those, those break along the seal, but sometimes they don't. So I'm just gonna cut along the seal. There we go. Take your pleasure seriously. Always, always do. Never not serious about pleasure. Designed by Art of Play in close collaboration with the Eames office. Wow, that is a cool collaboration. This iconic emblem occurred in their work and here signifies a creative energy possessed by both Charles and Ray, a burst of light reaching for the outer limits of design's true purpose. Simplified back design, look at that. I wonder. Ooh, that looks kind of cool when you spin it. Wow. A little spinneroo and it looks very cool. Great for cardistry. Again, if you need to replace a card, very sick. Whoa. Jokers, identical. So you can use them for magic tricks. Look at the ace, how simple that is. Oh, that is sick. Wait, what? And look at this. That is so cool. There's a design right here. Wow, look at that. What about the other side? Same thing? Mm hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Check this out. That is trippy. I like these cards a lot. They feel great, they look great. Simple yet elegant. Definitely, definitely represents the brand. Very cool, let's get that ad card back in there. All right, next up, we're flying through this right now. We've got this one. Uh, I don't know if we have this one. This is like a special edition because the box is yellow. But we do have these ones, the Smokey the Bear collaboration playing cards. That is embossed, Smokey Bear playing cards. Always be careful with fire, especially when you're handling these cards, because these are fire. Very dope. Only you can prevent forest fires. I say we open them anyways. I just want to see if they are also, if the color matches or they just changed up the box. You got to play with your cards, kids. You can't just leave them in the box always, you know? That seal's coming right off. Ooh, they are yellow. Wow, I actually love that. Oh, and they feel nice too. These are very nice. It's got some little facts on there, on the twos. Look at the queen is a beaver. They got some forest animals there. Dope illustrations. And of course the ace of spades and the joker. Very, very nice deck indeed. Forgot to look at the prices again. This is gonna be, this is gonna be happening often, isn't it? Let's go Eames. These are $18 for the Eames and they come in different colors. And the Smokey the Bear, check this out. Non-existent on the website. Non-existent on the website, the other ones go for 15, but these are probably a special edition that you can only find in the mystery decks. How cool is that? All right, next up. Are you guys having fun? If you are, I need to remind you, leave a like. Tell your friends. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. I like that sticker especially. Look at this. DKNG put out uh, the red wheels or the wheels playing cards and they've done all sorts of colors. I guess now is their chance to do gold. Now how elegant is this box with that red seal? How photogenic is that right now? That looks like the holy grail of playing cards. That looks so good. We have to open these. Absolutely have to open these. Let's just check out how rare they are first. $18. They are the gold wheels. $18. I want to see how gold these are. Because they do have a yellow version of this deck. But these are the gold version. Need to get a better knife other than my little shank here. Little skulls on the inside of that. Nice little detail on the tuck case. 
Oh my god, they're gold foil. Dude, they're gold foil. I mean, you you had me with the foil. Gold foil cards are cool. Look at that, dude. How beautiful is that? Like the reflective nature of it. What's kind of cool about gold foil cards, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, check that out. You can use it as a shiner. What a shiner is, is I can see, if I go like this, I can see that that's like maybe the queen of spades. What am I looking at? Clubs, okay. Not too far off. That's what, that's like a five of spades? Yeah. You can actually see the reflection in the, uh, on the back of the cards. How sneaky is that? But these are great. I, I actually love the thick borders as well. Uh, ever since thin borders came out, a lot of cards are doing thin borders, but thick borders are making a comeback, dude. These are great. I love this very much. Yeah. These are my new favorite wheels. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, let's put these away. Next up, purple wheels. Very cool. I do not own these. These are very, very sick. And once again, with the gold stamp here, love that. So we got a purple version. Ah, uh, we got these last year, I do believe. Yeah, the balance playing card. This might be a new colorway, but the box is so sick because you have that blind embossing which is basically embossed on the same color. So you got like that A that's embossed, the B here, made in the USA. Very, very pretty, very elegant. Like I said, we're flying through these. What are these? These are cool. Just type playing cards again. All right, let's see, let's see about these ones. Here. Oh, well, let's check out the balance ones. I keep forgetting. Balance are 18. These are the black edition. And these are 18 down from 36 as well. Wait, I even think the other ones, yeah, the other ones aren't even listed. So maybe the other ones are rare. I think I was looking at this one earlier. That I'm guessing is the back design. <gasps> cool jokers. Way cool. Oh, wow. Check out the face cards here. Very, very cool. Um, for some reason, You've got some of them that are sort of negative. And here's the back design, very nice. I'm not sure how I feel, that's nice actually. I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, the negatives on the face cards because when spread out like this, it kind of makes things look messy. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. But other than that, they're very cool. Oh, these ones, last year we opened them up, I was, Void playing cards. These are made uh, in sort of the pattern of the carpet in The Shining, which I found out after I made the video, but uh, how cool is that seal? I won't open these. I want a sealed one. I don't have a sealed one, so I'm gonna keep this for my collection. Void playing cards. Dang, dude. We're getting some nice cards in here. <gasps> Every single year, my favorite, one of my favorite decks is the James Coffee playing cards. Now you might be familiar with this owl if you like my buddy Peter McKinnon's work, but this is from James Coffee, uh, David Kennedy's coffee shop. And I guess he put out a green version. These guys are also located in San Diego as is Art of Play. So it makes sense that they would collab. I need to open these though. Last year we had the orange ones. Those are hard to beat. I like the orange ones a lot. Let's see how the green ones fare. Oh, wow. That bold type font and just that, and it's like a metallic ink as well. Those are very nice. Very nice indeed. Woo! Quick brewing guide. We got a quick brewing guide here for some coffee for your uh, French press, your drip, your Chemex, espresso, etc. These guys are coffee experts. Uh, but there you go. I like these a lot. Very, very classy. And I mean, photogenic as well, next to a little pot of coffee on Christmas morning. Looking very sharp, very sharp indeed. James Coffee. Um, Not listed. The orange ones from last year go for 25. These ones are not on the website. So my guess is pretty rare indeed. All right, we keep going. Dreyfus Art playing card. Look at these, dude. We got a sticker in here. I forget about the sticker. Ooh, a new one. Dreyfus Art playing cards. Wow, these are sick. Look at this. This is like a whole shroom trip in a deck of cards. I'm about it. Let's open it up. 
Oh, hello. How cool is that? Ooh, wee. These are sweet looking. Wild card. Very nice. I like that instead of Joker, they put wild card because that's usually what you use them for anyways. The ace. Okay, so every single card has its own illustration. Super fun. Very, very fun. And then of course the ad card, which is super sick. Both ad cards are very dope. And the back design, look at that psychedelic back design. It is a one-way design, an asymmetrical design, but a pretty design nonetheless. Very nice, very nice. Booyah, how much do those go for? $18 deck of cards right there. Again, for 12 bucks, pretty good deal. I think part of the fun of this is, is just not knowing what you're gonna get. Ooh, what are these? What are these? These are cute. Art of Play, so a deck by Art of Play. Do we just type in Art of Play here? Yeah, there's no telling how much these are worth. I do appreciate that they do print their own cards. Look at that. Nice detail on the inside here. And they come wrapped. Why is that? Must be a different printer. Usually uh, United States playing cards doesn't wrap them this way. Uh, probably Legends playing cards. And I appreciate them printing with other companies as well to test out stock and feel and designs and all sorts of stuff. Oh, they've got this, uh, they've got foiling on it. So there's some gold in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's some gold there. Oh. Yeah, they definitely don't feel like United States playing cards. They feel a little bit thicker. They got a certain smell to them, but elegant. Wow, look at that Ace of Spades. Elegant designs, look at that. Jack, the queen, the king, very cool, sort of almost like a, almost like a Salvador Dali feel on some of these cards here. Artsy deck of cards. Next up, I mean classic red wheels. Classic red red wheels. These were my favorite red wheels of all. I just love the contrast between the gold, the red, the white. When these came out, man, I, I yeah, these were really, really sick. Ooh, Vert Alfred Hitchcock, what? They collabed with Alfred Hitchcock, Vertigo playing cards? Get out of here, dude, good for them. You got Alfred Hitchcock's logo right there, which is very sick. Oh my God, I'm excited to see these. Based on the Vertigo spiral, I did not invent them. They had already existed, but they were fully, not fully recognized for their aesthetic potential since they were mainly seen as scientific expressions. You could say that I was obsessed with them for a while, but I had fallen in love with them, so I knew little of what Hitch was driving at. The back of this card features one of the early poster designs for Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Oh my God, that is sick. That is so cool. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, come on. How cool is that, dude? Look at the ace. Directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I love the asymmetry here. I love this so much. What a cool deck of cards. It's got that vintage vibe, that sort of 70s vibe, or I don't know when this was made, but it feels like it's got a 70s vibe to it. I love the colors. Happy I unbox these. Okay. Oh, we had these ones last year, the cybernetic. I was very excited about these. I mean, just the tuck case alone is, uh, very cool how holographic that is. We open these again. If you want to see the ones that we haven't opened today, you can check them out on last year's video. We get these every year. I've gotten these like three years in a row, the Lady Moon playing cards. All women on all of the cards. Very, very interesting idea. Beautiful, beautiful design in the tuck case. One of the most gorgeous tuck cases I've seen, I think. Very pretty. Of course, if an octopus could palm, one of the rarest decks you can find out there. I didn't even check the prices of these ones, man. I am slacking. Oh, the Vertigo ones. Yes, the Vertigo. Not on the site. That should tell you something. Octopus, not on the site. Once again, these go for, I think, over $100 online. And then the Cybernetic, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, those were pretty expensive. $25, the Cybernetic. But yeah, the Vertigo might be, uh, might be worth a pretty penny. Wow. Grimlore Tartan playing cards. Tartan. Epiphanies await the curious mind. Beautiful uh, plaid sort of 
back design. Let's open these up. Again, not available. The Buck Twins put out a plaid deck a long time ago, and this has that plaid vibe. A great borderless, uh, borderless design here. Beautiful illustrations as well. Very whimsical, little fairies and elves. Standard, pretty standard face cards. Oh, what an interesting choice to only have the ace in it. That is so pretty. I like this a lot. What's fun with these is uh, table work. This is good for table. So if you're doing like gambling demonstrations, you want to get like borderless cards, uh, especially because if you want to do any type of like second deal, you can't really tell where the card's coming from. See if I have it like here, face down, you'll never be able to tell. So if you're second dealing, just makes for a great, great deck to use at the card table. Very cool, very pleased. How many times have I said cool? Take a shot every time I've said cool in this video. Get a repertoire, dude. How many you got left? We got five left. Fantastic playing cards. Love that, love that so much. Even the sides here, those lines, very classic. Now, if that doesn't represent some type of curiosity, I don't know what does. Oh, wow. Look at the work that went into that back design. Ah, a little secret too. No way. Oh, check this out. How cool is that? Do the other side. It's animated, dude. That's that's one of the cooler things ever. Makes you never want to put this out of order, that's for sure. I love it a lot. Inside of the tuck case as well, very whimsical. Sveta Dorosheva. What's this one called again? Nope. Amazing. Gotta love that bold. That gold foil contrast with the, with the black and white. It's sort of a cream too, it's like an off-white. We've had these from last year. These are very cool as well. Musical inspired, jazz inspired, called Tempo Playing Cards. So two left, three left. Messy Mod. Look how the red foil sort of pops. Oh, so these are a new design because Messy Mod last year, see these are $15. These ones are not available on the site. I guess we should open them then. Same faces I recall, which are very original. Lovely illustrations there. And the back design. Oh, a black stock on playing cards, interesting. So black goes all the way to the edges. Not a huge fan of when that happens, just because if these cards ever get nicked, like this, if they ever like, you're playing around with them and they get nicked, you get these, um, I don't know if you can even see that, but uh, the edges start to turn a little white. And after a while, your deck looks crummy. Um, but if you're just a casual player and don't care and are not as OCD as I am with these cards, then you should be fine. What's this? Jungle playing card. Another whimsical deck here. These are $15 available at Art of Play. Again, uh, for all the ones that I have found, if you would like to purchase them, you can go ahead and purchase them directly. The other ones might not be available um, due to the fact that they might only be available in the mystery decks, but that design is cool. It kind of looks like Homer Simpson uh, on the back design. Oh, I like that. And a symmetrical design as well. Jokers, identical, ace, lots going on here. Look at that font on the, uh, on the indices here. Isn't that cool? Oh, you got like a flamingo, you got like a lion here, a panther. Very original, very playful deck of cards. I like the contrast of the white on the box as well. Lastly, here we go. Sometimes these are anticlimactic. Sometimes they're not. Uh... All right, here we go. Oh, ramen heads playing cards. Oh, what? These look dope. Noodles, let's open these up. I like ramen, I like playing cards. Not available on the website. Oh wow, oh wow. Oh cool, look at those jokers. Those jokers are sick. I love the colors here. 
The mix of all these colors is cool with that sort of uh, oriental font. Very anime inspired. You got Godzilla over here. And they're different on every core card. I love that. What's not to love about these? These are great. Whoa, that's sick. Miso ramen, shoyu, shio, tsukumen, abra, and yaki, soba. Ooh, I feel quite nice. Very cool. Designed by Yannick Stegen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up. Always a good time opening mystery decks. Thank you so much to Art of Play for sending these my way. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy this and you found this somewhat helpful and cool, leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate a comment as well. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.